Hi there everyone, welcome to Tech Cravers. Okay, so this is a bit weird, I'm sure you all know this already, Sony hosted their latest PlayStation Showcase a few days ago and they showed us a short teaser trailer in pre-rendered graphics from the new Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater remake. And even if it was no gameplay, I'm absolutely sure that it will be an amazing game, as long as some of the Kojima magic is still present. And then they showed us some gameplay from an absolute massive Manhattan in the upcoming and super hyped Spider-Man 2 from Insomniac. And I'm not gonna lie, this game has game of the year potential just by looking at the short trailer. Leave Connor alone! However, then there was that awkward silence when Sony showed us the brand new secret handheld they've been working on for the past few years. The device that they internally call Project Q. I'm not sure if you know about the rumors, but there have been rumors about Sony wanting to fight their way back into the handheld market, so people were expecting a PSP2 or something like that. And what we got was this DualSense controller split in two with an 8 inch screen squeezed in between. Now don't get me wrong, the DualSense controller is probably my favorite controller and I'm sure that the screen is gonna be great. But a streaming device over Wi-Fi only that requires that you have a PlayStation 5 and all the games already? I'm not sure about you, but to me it seems like Sony missed the boat here. Not only by a few minutes, but more like by a few years. I have been streaming my PlayStation 5 games to my phone over Wi-Fi basically since I bought the console. And not only that, with the third-party PS Play app, I have been streaming it over 4G and lately 5G as well. So to be honest, I'm not really sure whom Sony is targeting with this product. With that being said, I wanted to show you my Project Q and what I can do with it. So let's get to it. Designed specifically for gamers, my Project Q is created by Backbone and it's a console style controller tailored to fit an iPhone. While an Android version is also available, this specific version focuses on iPhone models since it utilizes a lightning port and it draws power from your iPhone. The controller incorporates an expandable bar at the rear, allowing the two sides of the controller to securely wrap around and snugly hold the phone. Each side of the controller features buttons and clearly take inspiration from a traditional video game controller including joysticks, directional pads, face buttons, shoulder buttons and menu buttons. At the bottom of the controller you'll find a 3.5mm headset jack enabling direct audio connection to the phone, as well as a lightning pass-through port to maintain the phone's power and charge, as the controller relies on the phone's power to function. And once you pop in your phone it will ask you straight away if you want to download the Backbone app. Then it will guide you through the initial setup and all the things you need to know about your new controller. Once the setup is complete you will be taken to this awesome gaming front end where you can choose to pair it with your PS5 to stream all your PlayStation 5 games, but the backbone will do much more than just stream your PlayStation games. It can hook you up with a bunch of streaming platforms like Xbox Game Pass and Nvidia GeForce Now to name a few. It will also list all the App Store games that you can download and play straight away without having to map a single button. Everything will just work straight out of the box. And with that being said, let's check out some gameplay, starting with Cyberpunk 2077, that I'm streaming without any hiccups from my PlayStation 5 console. Next up is the great action RPG zombie slasher Dead Island 2, playing seamlessly from my PlayStation 5. And the game that I love to just pick up and play to kill some time is Riders Republic by Ubisoft. Yeah. 
And to be able to lay in my bed in the evening and play Uncharted 4 on my iPhone is truly an amazing experience. Now as I said, streaming PlayStation 5 games is not everything this can do. If you decide to play a native App Store game like COD Mobile here, the game will immediately understand that you are playing with the Backbone controller and everything will be mapped for you. No need to tinker with any key mapping as you would need to do on some of the Android handouts out there. Just pick up and play. Enemy The same story applies to Diablo Immortal and to any other App Store game that you can start from the Backbone app as well. If it's there, it's compatible with the controller. The backbone is available in two colors, a standard more Xbox-ish design and the white PlayStation design that I have used in this video. You can also choose between an Android or iPhone version and the price is 99 USD and the phone is something that I'm gonna guess that basically everyone has already. So yeah, what were Sony thinking when they started to work on a stream over Wi-Fi only handheld device in 2023? I guess this could be a thing to buy if it comes at a super low cost, but knowing Sony that's probably not happening. So what do you think? Is Project Q something that you would spend your money on or do you think that Sony is indeed late to the party? Let me know in a comment down below and please don't forget to like this video if you did or if it helped you out. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this in your feed. Thanks for watching, Tech Ravers out!